the last section, I'm sorry I'm going a little bit uh, over my time allotment. Um, you, you can have this, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. sorry? It's totally fine. You were, you were okay <laughs> with that. Much time to <laughs> um, yeah. um, the priority section. So priorities to me are, you take a step back, and it's not a week-by-week -week activity, but a higher level of what you think you need to be working on. All right, so um, you, know, you might decide that um, an iPhone app is more important than an Android app. All right, so your priorities might be iPhone app and Android app, mm. among, uh, amongst other things. And what this does is, um, so the reader, it helps understand, this getting back to your comment, Matt, right? Yes. Um, when I see that, I assume that the stuff near the bottom is probably not going to get done. Because we all have more things on our plate than we can do. And so when I look at it, I'm like, am I comfortable with this stuff not getting done? <clears throat> So one of the constant issues you'll have as a manager, as a peer, as a small team, right, is every person has too much to do. So every person makes a determination about what they'll do and what they don't. But if those don't all jive, that's a real problem, right? You decided to make, you know, all the blue vests, right, and, and not do the red ones, and he decided to make all the red sleeves and not the blue ones, right? Well, now you're opposed. So I write the priority so that everyone who reads this, most importantly my team and also me, understands. Our priority is to get this customer happy, and that's more important than building features for new customers. There, there are times where we'll say, no, 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 you know, uh, for most times, you know, in our production, for me, fixing bugs is number one, always. <clears throat> but there's times when I'm like, you know, we're going to let the bugs fly for a few weeks because we have this other project and we're behind on or whatever, right? So I'm going to make a priorities and everyone will understand what we're getting done and what we're not getting done. And the priorities, we hope, don't change every week. That would be bad. But they should change once in a while as things happen. And there should be a correlation between your priorities and your progress and plans. So I see this all the time, where, right, my number one priority is to recruit good employees and to train them. And then I look at their plans, right, and they have no interview schedule, no training session schedule, right? I'm like, that can't possibly be your number one priority if you have nothing planned for it. That makes sense? Could you discuss a little bit more the correlation between the plans? So the priority section, if I understand this correctly, is not an organization of the plan section into order. No. It's a... So you could have like seven things in the plan section that is just under one bullet in the priority section. Absolutely. Okay. In fact, it's likely going to be that. Okay. Right. So it's I would expect, you know, like I said, if I were, you know, writing an algorithm, right, I would expect that the first priority would have, you know, four bullets, and the second priority would have two bullets, and the third priority would have one, and everything under would have none. But that's not quantitative; it's qualitative. Right, right, right. There'll be weeks where it'll be different, but that's the idea that I would like to see. Is it safe to say that often the priority section went down before the plan section? Yeah. And uh, like I said, the priority section won't change week to week. So you don't have to visit it every time, but every now and then you should, right? Because every now and then, you know, you look at it, you know, and I'll look at it and I'm like, wait a second, the top three priorities have been done for four months. Right, because they're just in the habit of not looking at them. So you have to look at them once in a while, but they shouldn't change very often, and I would do that first, right? And I would sit down with my manager, board member, investor, mentor, right, and get sign off on that. So we have limited resources. We all know we have limited resources. So Mr. Board Advisor, what I could really get your help on is I think it's more important for us to just 
you know, get the buzz out and get something on the web than it is for us to file patents. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? What should be more important? You working with the attorneys to get patents? Or are you getting a product out there so you can get buzz and, you know, and have name recognition and users and all that? Depends on the buzz and on the patents. So I don't know. But that's something that you should sit and you should talk, right? I'm throwing out those as an example. And I'd say, these, I think this is the priority order, which means I'm not going to get to the patents. And that also helps so that when you have your board meeting and they come in and go, gosh darn it, where's your, where's your patent applications? Yeah. It's like, I've been telling you week after week that it's our number six priority. You really think I'm getting my number six priorities? Did you not read this? You agreed it was a number six priority. 